I want to say particularly to the students here tonight, I know that many of you are cynical about and disgusted with the American political system. And I am not about to tell you that that is a foolish attitude. There is much to be cynical about. There is much to be disgusted with. But this is a very brief civics lecture, and it really doesn't hurt at all. Just give me three minutes here. Politics is not something that you can look at as though it were a picture on a wall or a program on television and say, well, I just don't care for that. I hear people all the time say things like, ah, oh, I'm just not interested in politics. Oh, they're all crooks. Well, there's nothing I can do. We are collectively the heirs to the most magnificent political legacy any people has ever received. We believe these truths to be self-evident, that all men and women are created equal, that we are endowed by our Creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We believe that governments are instituted among men to secure these rights, and that whenever any government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it. Those words are so profoundly revolutionary that more than 200 years later, they echo all over the world, and people are willing to give their lives for a chance to live under that system. People died for it in South Africa. They died for it at Tiananmen Square. They're dying for it today in Myanmar. And in Iraq, they're proving that they don't want it shoved down their throats. Um, that legacy should not be thrown out of, away out of boredom or cynicism or inanition. Politics is not about those people in Washington. It's not about those people up in Baton Rouge. It's our deal. We run this country. We are the board of directors. We own it. They're just the people we have hired to drive the bus for a while. Thank you. I told you it wouldn't hurt. 